This is Gene Montrastelli, the editor of TappingQA.com, and welcome to a quick video tour of Tapping Q&A. Though we got lots of great resources on the site, and I just want to make sure that you're able to find your way to all of those amazing resources. The page that we're looking at right now, this is the home page. If you go to TappingQA.com, this is the place it's going to take you to. And you can see the three main areas that we're going to direct you to right away. Now, this left-hand column, there are six things listed, and these are our primary resources that are on the site. What we're going to do is we're going to investigate each one a little bit, um, but I just want to give you a heads up of what's here. Um, the six that are here are the podcast. The Tapping Q&A podcast is something that is produced every single Wednesday. Um, we have a new episode go up, and occasionally there are even bonus episodes that are thrown in there. These are interviews with some of the best change work professionals in the world, as well as um, just some straight teaching on some very specific tools that you can add to your tapping routine right away. The second resource we have listed here is the Setup Phrase Generator. It's this cute little computer program that we've put together that produces over 2,400 unique setup phrases. And each time you reload the page, it's going to give you 10 unique new setup phrases. So if you're looking for a good way to start a tapping session, this is a great place. Or if you're just looking to do some work on self-acceptance and self-compassion, this is a great place to go. The third resource we have listed here is the Tapping Ninja videos. Um, occasionally on Sundays, we have instructional videos that we put up, and it's either some tapping instruction, some audio from an interview, um, or I teach you a new tool or technique, show you something really quick that you can put into your tapping toolbox and start working right away. And we have the entire archive of all of those videos located here. Manifesto. This is a link for Recovering Self, the Healing Manifesto. If you'd l like to understand how I see the healing process and all of the underlying fundamentals of how I do my work, you're going to find it here in the Healing Manifesto. We have it available in PDF form in English and in Spanish, as well as an English version of an audiobook. So you can just download that and just listen to it. Learn Tapping is a very simple, straightforward, instructional um, book. You can either download it as a PDF or you can view it as individual articles inside of the website. And it's not the one page, here's the tapping points, here's the setup phrases, and it's not the 150 page manual. It's kind of a middle path. It's a little more comprehensive than a one sheet but it's not overwhelming, and it's gonna take you step by step through what you need to do. And finally, here in the left-hand column, we have the Complete Resource Archive. Um, we have well over 100 free resources on the website. We're adding new ones, two or three new ones, every single week. So this is the place that you can go to get a comprehensive list of every single thing that's on the site. So if you're looking for something on a particular topic, or you're looking for something by a particular guest in the podcast, or you're looking for tools, or you're looking for examples of me working with clients, if you go here, it's gonna help you find your way to that. So those are the main resources on the site, and we're gonna investigate those here in a second. In this middle column, what you have a list of is you have a list of the five most recent things that we've added to the site. If you click on these, it'll take you straight to the link and give you an opportunity to explore and investigate that resource. Again, they're all there absolutely free of charge, and it always updates itself. In the right-hand column here, if you haven't already signed up yet for the Tapping Q&A newsletter, um, by signing up here, you'll get access to that. And the instant you sign up, you'll get a link that will give you the ability to download four free tap-along audios, things that you can just tap along to whenever you'd like, and they're going to make a huge difference for your healing in the short and long term. Now, on this main home page, before we click anywhere else, if you scroll down on the page, what you're actually going to see here is the latest posts. And this is going to give you not just the first five, but the 10 most recent posts. And it's going to give you a brief description of each one of those posts so you can get a little more information before you click your way in. So that's our home page. So let's investigate some of our primary resources just so you can see what's there. Let's go into the podcast. Now here in the podcast page, you're going to see a number of things. First of all, you're going to see the ways that you can subscribe to the podcast. If you'd like, 
You can subscribe through iTunes or any other podcatcher. So the instant we add a new podcast, you're going to have the opportunity to immediately download that podcast. Um, so you can do that through iTunes or an RSS feed reader. Now, as you scroll down, what you're going to see here is you're going to see a complete archive of every single podcast we've ever done. So you'll see the title, the topic, and who we interviewed if we interviewed someone. And let's just take a look at one of the podcasts so you can see how easy it is to listen to or download one of those podcasts. So we simply click on the one here. We did a great interview on identity with Brad Yates. This is one of my favorites. You'll see a quick description of the interview. You'll get the information about Brad. And then here you go is how we can play it. Now you have two options. If you simply right click and save as this link, you're gonna download the audio directly to your hard drive. So you can put it on any MP3 player, burn it to a CD, or play it directly from your computer. Or if you simply hit play or download the podcast, what it's gonna do is it's gonna open a player right, and it's gonna immediately start playing it for you. And there you go. You can hear the beginning of the podcast right there. And so it's just that simple. At any point you wanna come back and you just wanna go back to the podcast archive, Simply click on podcast and it's going to take you back and you can continue to explore. And at this point, as we're recording this, we have 81 full podcasts. We got another 28 bonus podcasts. And like I said, every single Wednesday, we keep adding podcasts and you have an opportunity to do that. The other thing on the front page I wanted to investigate a little bit was the setup phrase generator, just so you can see what it looks like when we go into the generator. It's going to give you just a brief description of what the setup generator is, how it came about, and then here you go. Here are 10 completely new setup phrases that you can tap along to when you're tapping on that karate chop point. And like I said, the instant we reset and refresh this website, we're going to get our way to being able to find them again. And I'll have a whole new batch there. The videos are organized very much like the podcast. You have here where you have a list of a bunch of the instructional videos, a list of a bunch of interview videos, and about twice a month we add a new video to the site. And again, these are absolutely free of charge that you can go back to and watch over and over again. Finally, let's take a look at the complete archive. Now, we have a couple of ways that you can take a look and find stuff on the site. On most pages in the upper right-hand corner, what you're going to do is you're going to see a little search box. If you click on the search box, you can type in whatever word or phrase you want, and it'll give you every single resource on the site. In addition to that, we have things grouped by topic and by type. Here we have the question and answer articles, the podcast, tap along audio sessions, tools, and then we also have some things broken down by some categories. And this category list changes over time as we add more resources or we see the articles that are commented on the most and we see where traffic is. We try and have the things that are most visited appear in this area. And once again, we have a complete list of the 10 most recent articles so you can dive in and check any of those articles out that you would like. The last page that's really, really important is the contact page. On most pages, you'll see the link right over here on the right. And it's a very simple form. If you fill this form out, name, email, address, what you want to contact me about, send it along. That's going to come to me. It's not sent to a virtual assistant. It's not sent to a secretary somewhere. It comes to me. And you'll see that I don't always get back right away because sometimes my travel schedule and client schedule prevents me from responding immediately but I write everybody back. And so if you have a question about anything at all, um, if you have a question about tapping, if you have a question about a problem you're having with the site, all you need to do is click over there, drop me a note, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So that's the tapping Q&A site. As always, we have a nice navigation bar, and if you get lost, just click on the banner at the top and it'll take you home, and you'll be able to find your way to whatever you need. If you have any questions, go to the contact page, and thanks for spending a little time here at Tapping Q&A. Have a great day. Bye-bye.